What's going on everybody? It's me the Spade here and we're here for a new game of a game that's actually pretty freaking amazing and this game is called Age of Wonders 4. So we're going to be doing the main story of this game and then possibly if you guys enjoy the series we're going to be doing a lot more. So before we even get further into this if you guys definitely consider liking and subscribing if you all believe you're going to enjoy the series as much as I do. So let's go ahead and head on into here. So I now technically own all four Age of Wonders games. <laughs> Your journey. Okay, so in this playthrough here, I have a current playthrough go as the Tigrans going, but you know what? Though? I'm actually gonna play as the humans this time around. Um, and then if you guys again like the series, then I'll go ahead and try other factions like you know the Toadlings or the Dwellers, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and edit these guys here. Okay, so human. And as humans are gonna be we're gonna have adapt adaptability. It's actually adaptability is not even too bad. Let me actually get rid of this check mark here before I can see what I'm looking at here. Alright, and then we have fast recuperation. Hardy. What is hardy actually? It's uh do your armies take a little bit more what can take a little more damage? That's the effects plus ten hit points. Oh no, I like that. And so when it comes to my army here, we're actually going to be a industrious human civilization. What defines their society? Mm. So, the ritual cannibals. Oh wow, they believe in both spiritual, hold on, spiritual power of life and in value of good banquet. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Chosen Uniters. They build a realm based on cooperation. We're not hesitate to defend it. Game plus income from vassals. Hmm. Let's see. Runesmith, Wonder Artifacts, Great Builders. We're gonna go into Great Builders. So we're gonna be. Imperialist angry builders. Choose your first tome of magic. Okay, so the tome that I kind of want to go for will be the tome of enchantment. So I want to go ahead and summon this copper golem here. What is your ruler's origin? Okay, so rulers rise from the ranks of the people. All cities have plus ten gold income and plus twenty stability. All non-hero units gain plus twenty experience. So a hundred relations with free cities. Mm, spicy. Reveal yourself. Okay. First, I'm going to remove the helmet before I can see my character's face. We're going to be, um, of course, male. Head, we're going to go with the first one. Hairstyle here. Now, I kind of wish they had a lot better hairstyles. I mean, so it looks like it's going to be one of those days where I got to mod in some hairstyles. <laughs> Alright, this one's not too bad. But. But you know, what would it be? What it, would they care to like add in some some black hair style or something? But I'm not making that complaint. I'm just saying, as a fellow black man, <laughs> like you, I'm just saying. Okay, uh, skin color here. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're gonna be. A uh, pretty arm. Uh, we're gonna be a pretty tall dude, so we're gonna have a big physique. Yeah, link sign. Skin decorations. That's pretty cool. Actually, I go with that decoration here. Yeah, this one's cool. Pose though. Let's change his pose. Yeah, he's a big burly man. I love it. <laughs> Okay, helmet. Should I have one on? Oh yeah, that's the helmet right there. That's him. Okay. Okay, golden armor. So instead of going hammer and shield, I'm gonna go. So let's see here. If you start fire, let's see. You get a mount. You don't get a mount here. Crossbow. You get a mount. Great hammer. You don't get a mount. Hammer and shield, you get him out. We're gonna go with the great hammer. I'm feeling spicy. Oh, you can chase your army, uh, insignia stuff up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try to get like a crusader kind of deal here. Okay, that one's fine. That's the color gold, gold and black. Okay, and race. We're gonna have them kind of average. I mean, we're humans, right? Skin color. 
Army color. We're going to go for like a gold black army color scheme. And mount will be horses. Your journey begins. Hmm. Okay, so my character name will be Shura. Oh, sure it did. Last name, the Reliant. Argent, Flint Miner. The Imperialistic humans, I like that. Guildmaster, Brazier, Winder, Copperhead, Goldmark. Winder, Goldhammer. Yep, no, Goldhammer. That works. And we're going to be in the first Guardian, by the way, too. Alright, now let's go ahead and get this started. It was the time when the raw forces of magic returned to Athla. The seal that had protected the world was shattered. The cosmic currents thereby unleashed shaped the land, changing what was whilst returning what once may have been. In the wake of this new genesis, the great empires of the Third Age fell into decline bringing on an era of re-exploration and expansion. Alas, the time for peaceful discovery was brief, for the ancient wizards of the Second Age broke free from their eldritch prisons in the depths of the Astral Sea. Their strength regained, they set out to rule over the surviving peoples as God Kings, or Godir. There was little divine about them. Yaka, Nimue, Carissa, a pantheon of pretender gods. They were scarred, corrupted, haunted by millennia of torment, and ready to unleash their newfound powers against whoever dared stand in their way. Yet the wizard kings were not unchallenged. Mortal champions rose to the defense of their people, rebuilding their realms and learning to channel the currents of magic. This is the story of one such champion. While traveling through the Valley of Wonders in search of a new home, tragedy befell her tribe its elder slain by a magical being. After inheriting both the elder's throne and their powerful tome of magic, the young champion had to rise up and protect her people from the dangers that awaited. Stability measures how- Ah, the game world, we're entering on it. Outside of dark cultures, which do not suffer from low stability penalties. You generally want to keep your stability high. Ah, uh, so we sure sure it in Goldhammer. A new really emerges. Explore your surroundings, expand your domain, and prepare to face your rivals. Become the master of your realm. Choices will shape the new age of wonders. So Tome of Enchantment. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay. Let's see. Starting magic, summoning. Let's go summoning gold. Oh no, this already have. Okay, okay. All right, long have the imperialistic humans wandered Atla as exiles or prophecies or pro I'm sorry, O Prophetess. Sheridan Goldhammer by leading them to this valley, you have returned them to their hope. The proud city of Silverset represents a new sh beginning for your people. They are engaged. They are eager to strive beyond a city gates and claim the surrounding land as their own to expand your domain hunt down the creatures of silver strad and grow new population to place your first farm hmm okay all right so let's do okay there goes rotate a little bit here all right so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and build hmm let's go go into the army Shrine into the mana obelisk. Vendor, let's go into the market and then farmers work. So let's go get the farmers work set in there first. And the obelisk is the archer. This is the scout unit and this is the anvil guard. 
Hmm. So this is already our our Arbos right well our, our scout. Huh. Yep. I'm gonna have to put you on auto explorer. You go ahead and go have fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we got a couple we got a couple creatures like right in front of us here. Let me go go ahead and get another army out here. We're gonna get three. Okay, there we go. You have encountered a resource node. They provide additional yield to the province they are located in. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Nodes are often occupied. The Marauder Guard by here. So we're we're attacking a mob. We're about to enter combat. So, as a lot of things, I'm gonna try to manual combat here. Cause manual combat's like the coolest thing in Age Wonders, honestly. I like this like this whole change with manual combat. Started with Age Wonders 3, of course. And for each game they always improve on, you know, from Age Wonders 3 to Planet Fall, stuff like that. It's been really cool. So apparently the defending army always pushes up it was always able to push up first, so I'm gonna put those guys there. Which excels at dealing physical damage Do we have the range? Nope, out of range still. Uh -huh. Okay, we're gonna push my unit up here. We're gonna do defend. This is a big creature. Okay, and we also get a spellcaster here. So spirits will not be out to one to one return. Grant defense, target friendly against boister defense. Push up here. Uh -huh. Just in case. Oh. Okay. Is that a crocodile creature? I mean, that's like a goal or something. Can you tell? Okay, charge strike. Mm, I mean, that was some damage, but shoot. Could have been a lot better. Healing bus cell says heals 20 temporal hit points and gains two points for defense. is taunt enemy taunt is afflicted with face chance. Uh -huh. hmm. Okay, uh overdraw crossbow. Okay, that's a three strike here. So overdraw Deals damage, uh, cancel defensive mode, and removes retaliation attack unless the target has charge or resistance. He seems like that's, he's the biggest one. To, so yeah, you definitely gotta get focused there. It's a staff attack. Get him at 50%. Miss? Oh, y'all are tragic. Okay, defensive bonus, shield wall. Okay, now that that defense there, boys are defense, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Leave my boys alone. Mm -hmm. It looks like I might take an attack opportunity, yep. Okay. Not too much damage, okay. Do the strike here. Going. 
This will work there. Uh, gain to, let's see. Gains 20% damage per hex travel up to three hexes. I'm just only one hex that we're going towards if I were to charge. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, bleeding resistant. That damage, though, honestly. So we got about 55 mana, so not too bad. Mm. Huh? Ow, chill. That's how that cookie crumbles. Strength from steel. Heals plus eight temporary HP. Gets one strengthened. This unit has suffered casual. Okay. Okay, I'll do some. They're putting up some work. You know what? I miss I miss clicking my hero. I'm so uh -huh. I'm mad. Ooh, I forgot about the flying unit there. Four damage, not bad. Come on, y'all can't be missing like that. Yeah, that's a tier three monster, too, by the way. Uh -huh. Give him a defensive. That's how that cookie crumbles. Don't die, me soldier. Damn. Nice final blow. Boom. I mean, it likes it's not too bad. We want it, but shit. Okay, so deserved victory. So that means we're gonna have to wait for a couple turns then. Oh, it's a mana stash here. Yeah, that's some free mana. That's another mana crystal. There's a resource node here. I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, well, this is occupied. Huh? By what though? Okay, set arcane researcher. Secret arrows, wayfinder. Go seek your arrows. Yeah, see, right now I'm re getting the army going. I would say you could most likely, uh, well, assign, ooh, sudden governor, get whisper stone. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah. So you can annex this, this stuff pretty cool. It's pretty simple, pretty cool. Like, what is this? This is a resource a gold vein so we need to 
So I definitely want to get that here. Yep, mind that. Okay, I gotta wait a turn. Uh-oh. Following a long debate, one of the uh, steel shapers from Silverstrad approaches you with e eager to speak. As you know, my pr uh, prof prophesis... I got I don't know if I I'm, like, butchering that. <laughs> Not all of us imperialistic humans had the wisdom to follow your lead to uh, Silverstrad. Some became fearful of the magic that the Elder passed on to you, our prophesis. All right, so they stayed with Gerhard Alkamir to f found Bronze uh, Bronzeget on their own. Okay, that's so weird. That's a weird name. Well, you still got an ally with uh, Bronzegate? I guess it's, it's called no Bronzegate. Tried to make it sound fancy. Uh, to reunite with the imperialistic humans. Um, hmm. Evil character actions might extend you to kind of quest. Wow. No, sure. Why not? We'll have to find. We'll have to find their city. Looks like we got a little ocean here. So I do want to kind of watch out here, because um, we're going to at least get a little bit of breathing room, and you know, so you guard moves any farm with. Yeah, we're gonna guard for a bit. We get the healing cup. Cool. If I recall, yeah, if you just kind of like don't do like don't move or anything of the sort, you uh basically. You basically, uh, what do you call? Heal up. You know. Uh, let's see. So we need more population order to annex. We should have another soldier. So if I can wait one more turn and get another soldier here, we should be good. We also got a gold vein, a gold vein here. So we're getting plus five. No, plus, what was that? Five here, plus 15, right? Let me see here. What if I can break that down? Hmm. The medic quest lines, hero overview, magic materials, city overview. Because that's what I want to know. I wanna, if I can break that down, then shit. City domain mul multipliers. Yes, yeah, so I think that's what the, the multipliers is. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. This is your spell list. You can cast various spells from here to bolster your units and cities. Or to smite your enemies okay so we have tactical tactical is boistering chant strategic is summon uh copper golem and that costs 30 mana it looks like okay so i'm gonna wait one more turn in order to uh have this grow so in this game you're able to get like multiple alliance like uh branching off or branching uh ways to build your character in a sense so like Right now, we're under the industrialist, so I can go for industrialist or order affinity. Order affinity, I think, is, is like, of course, good. And so, um, but I think you need to have the Imperium in order to, like, push on forward. Yeah, so you, as you see, like, right now, we only have, like, military engineering, then you have uh, consolidated industry, so... Hmm. The city, the city might be attacked. What is this? Elmas Price. Temperatures in the immediate area rise and fall intermittently as a group of elemental beings pa panic at Charmer's approach. The lesser stone spirit, seemingly the leader of the group, wavers steadily before you. <clears throat> It seems aware that engaging you will result in almost certain death, but it's unwilling to abandon its group. Allow them to go. Demand a portion of their primal power before they leave. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Huh? Mm. All right. Cool. Yeah. I, if they're going to go through my territory, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm like, of course I'm going to exploit them. Why not? Okay, so spells ready. So this is ready spell summoning go. 
So I can do this now, right? I can just... Uh-huh. Okay, select target location. Ah! Uh -huh. That's cool. Now, because it's summon, right? Does it stay here? Let's inspect it. Selected a unit. Oh, that's badass. I like that model. This pop that model is real nice. If I recall, now, I know that in Age Wonders Planetfall, you're able to, like, customize your army and give them, like, different types of, um, like, items and stuff too or upgrades and all that so i'm guessing it's probably gonna be the same here like i know if you're hero you could definitely do that with with your hero now the army though i'm not for sure of course okay so my current quest line is okay so new dawn three units slain i need to build a structure you meet garhat akamir who to part it ways with the Imperial Sakimans loyal to him. As your tribe entered the Valley of Wonders, so we speak again, Sheridan Goldham. Gerhardt Alchemer says with a stern voice, remember, we are Bronze Gate. Seek no quarrel. It is it was magic that caused the loss of our homeland. Magic that killed the elder of our tribe. When you took up the elder's tome, you asked for doom. We keep our distance, evading all magic will keep us safe. So Gib, let's see, Gerhard, Alchemer, let's see, Gib, Gerhard, Gerhard, God, it's so weird, it's so, it's so weird. Gerhard, Gerhard, it's like, I guess like Gerhard, Gerhard, okay, Gerhard, Gerhard, there we go, okay, yeah, <laughs> I got it, Gerhard, I'll keep your one of your whispering stones to start negotiations. Okay, let's go ahead and do it, let's go ahead. So a whispering stone, it helps out with uh, helping out with relations, and then you can boost your allegiance as long as you have the points to do so. It'll cost 30 points to do so, and then you can boost it for more relations. And then there you go. So Bronze Gate is really not that far away from us. It's really to the, literally to the south. Bed uh, raggled guards. Okay, are you interested in this modern art? The Prostus, the Steel Shaper ass, Guildmaster Jarhard Alchemer demands it be patrolled, but we lack the resources to defend ourselves properly. We lost many good Imperialist humans and monsters already. He says it's our duty to follow orders, but why follow orders of a Guildmaster that abandoned us? I'll take this model off Jarhard's hands. Mm, you may go. Armory Roskate would be moved from this location. Clear the Mononaut without a fight. I will buy both Monono and your service. Ooh. Wow, she's the only one. So yeah, she's the only one who's alive. What's her skills and stats though? Steel Blast and she's a, another support unit. We have one support. This would be for the new army. Okay, so I can annex another territory here. Okay, that's part of this group here, so let's go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, so New Dawn Aftermath. They are staging a play that retells the story of how you let the Imperialist humans safety from the death of, of, of the Elder to the Inherited Tome. The Schism, uh, Jahard, uh, Alchemir, and eventually the founding of Silver Strad in the Valley of Wonders. The play in your honor when concluded with the promised future. How do you wish it to end? Oh. So we're saying plus four to six gold per turn. The last scene plays beneficial population on a battlefield. Imperialistic humans fulfill their destiny. Form instantly finishes the production of the falling anvil. Ooh. I, mean, I do like that for six turns, 46 goals for six turns. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm a person of money. Like, I love money. Who does love money? <laughs> I can't believe that I'm like struggling to like read certain texts like prophecies. See, like here's here's one thing I'll tell you, y'all. It's like, if it's a word that I had barely used, then it's like I'm gonna struggle with it until I learn how to like really talk, say that shit, don't talk that shit. <laughs> and so now that I know what like his name is Jahard or Prostus, you know, it's a lot simpler and easier. Alright, so this is the modern no mod that modern node. Order to cart. We're gonna actually keep her in the which army is he I'm 
have her on the waiting list. Secret girls doing research, like new research. Let's go with waking tools. Alright. Toma Bulwark, Tavern Steel Sheep, Helberdeer. Cost 250 production. How much production am I getting right now? 45 per turn. Alright, let's go with Town Hall Bulwark. And then we'll add in the blacksmith here. And then for 60, we'll get the library going. Okay. All right, those two spells ready to cast. So I can just summon those golems whenever I feel like I didn't. That's cool. So you unit. Oh, so the unit. So in unit enchantment. Okay, grants physical range attacks to the enchantment units plus one range. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so. Boom. Alright, so our turn. Ooh, hunters from beyond. The void? Doom is upon us. Monsters from beyond. Your scouts arrived shortly after the uproar. Creatures from the Astral Sea have been sighted near the city. The fear of the imperialistic humans quickly leads to doubt. Was Darhard uh, Alchemy right? Have your magic powers attracted new creatures from far, or the creatures from far? Reward knowledge. Okay, so let's see here. Let me see here. So how far did my, uh, oh, what? Oh, that's where my, is this where my scout is? What the fuck? I didn't think you actually scaled those mountains. I thought it was just for looks. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, they're unhattable, but you could scale. That's kind of cool. Okay. But, uh, you know, guys, we're going to go ahead and end this part here. I'll be playing through some Age Wonders uh, 4. If you guys enjoyed this part, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for your support. Much appreciated. Definitely consider watching my other series as well. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one, y'all. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also hit the bell notification down below. Thanks for watching.